Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to prevent Microsoft from updating your Edge browser to the new Chromium browser. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to block the update, which is going to be happening on January the 15th, 2020. This is essentially going to replace your Microsoft Edge browser in its current form to the new updated Chromium based browser. Now for some of you that may be a complete disaster, especially if you're using any websites which rely on the HTML that is actually in the Edge browser as it stands at the moment. For businesses, website creators, this could definitely be a problem for you. So if you don't want Edge to update to the new Chromium version, this is how to go about doing it. Okay, so Microsoft are actually, they're fully aware that some people may not want to have this happen. And they've actually released their own blocker toolkit to disable the automatic delivery of Microsoft Edge. Now Microsoft Edge will be added as a default update for Windows 10 versions 18.03 or newer when the update is available after January the 15th, which is when it's scheduled to be released. So it will automatically replace your browser. Now if you've got things like saved sites, passwords, all those kinds of things, Nobody knows for sure if that's actually gonna be a smooth transition or whether or not you've got to start from scratch. So some of you may prefer to disable it altogether. Now they have actually, like I said, they've got a blocker toolkit. So you can actually just download the toolkit which contains a command line file which you can use. And also it has the group policy administration uh, template tools. So you've got an ADMX file and an ADML file. So if you're uh, looking after large amounts of systems and you wanna do like a global group policy template fix, you can do it that way or you can just run the script, which is built in. For a lot of people, I think it's gonna be a lot easier just to add a registry entry to prevent this from happening. So the blocker script basically just installs the registry key anyway. So the key belongs in the HK local machine software Microsoft, and the new key is gonna be edge update. And the key value name is gonna be do not update to edge with Chromium, which pretty much does what it says. And these are the different values. So if you don't have the key installed or defined, then the distribution will not be blocked. So you will get the new Edge version. If you've got the D value set to zero, then again, the distribution will not be blocked. And if you've got the D word value set to one, then the distribution will be blocked. So what I've done is copied the uh, registry string into a notepad file, which will be in this video. So if you click on the bit at the bottom where it's got the video description and details, you can just copy and paste this and create your own. So if I minimize this now, so this is the details of it. So you've got, I've called it Edge Chromium Blocker in Notepad. And all you need to do is copy and paste this information and open up a Notepad document. And then what you need to do is click on File then do Save As. And all you need to do is Save As Type where it says Text Documents. Just change that to All Files. And then put .reg on the end and click on Save and this will create you a new registry file. So all you need to do now is to double click on that. Now obviously, if you want to undo this change at any point, all you need to do is to go into either the registry or change this notepad document and change the D word value from a one, just delete that and put a zero, that will re reset it. Entirely up to you, you can do that quite easily. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on the Edge Chromium blocker, the registry key, double click, and you'll get the user account control. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And we're gonna click on yes. And as you can see, it's saying, do you want to do this? The usual kind of warnings, click on yes. And it says uh, the keys and values contained in the file have been added to the registry. So if we open up the registry now, so we'll open up regedit, And we'll find that key now, so go to the top. And what we want is H key local machine, then down to software, and then down to Microsoft. And then scroll down until we find edge update. So there we go, there is our registry key which has been entered. So as you can see the key there do not update Edge to Chromium and the registered D word is, or D word value rather, is set to one. 
So if you want to change this, double click on it, change this to decimal, change the value data to zero, click OK. So now if you're happy and you want to actually install the update, this will now allow the update to be installed the next time you do your Windows update. Again, if you want to block it, all you need to do is change that to a one. Click OK, and that's it. Now our registry is set to block the update from Microsoft installing the Edge browser to the new Chromium version as a default. So there you go, there's a nice easy way of preventing Microsoft from uh, installing the Chromium version of Edge on your PC with Windows Update after January the 15th. Now for some of you, obviously, this may not be applicable and you may want to get started with this. There are also ways where you can run the two browsers, the original Edge and the Chromium version of Edge side by side. So if you want to do that, uh, let me know in the comments section and maybe I'll make a video on how to enable that in a future video. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.